We've all heard this argument at least once in our lives, either from a friend, someone on the internet, or even your own family. Being shamed for playing video games is actually more common than it should be, but the usual phrase is always, video games are for kids. Or even better, video games are a waste of time. Of course, if you're an adult, it makes sense to schedule things right so that you're not just playing all day. But video games are a hobby like any other. And for some people, that is literally their way of income. Here's the reality on why video games are legit. A lot of video games actually require a lot of strategy and creativity in order to succeed. Even the two biggest targets of shame, Minecraft and Fortnite. Some of the worlds built on Minecraft are so incredible that you just know it took days or even weeks of patience and creativity to fulfill. Whether it was a small town or a whole city, Minecraft truly uses up every bit of creativity you have. In fact, it is so complex that the average user on Minecraft goes from 17 to 20, which are not kids by any means. Then you have Fortnite which makes you use strategies to win a game. It also requires good reactions and good coordination, which again is why so many players are young adults. And those two are just the surface. When you get to games like Portal and Dark Souls, it gets insanely more difficult. Portal because of its puzzles and Dark Souls because of its boss fights. I guarantee that not only kids, but the average teenager would struggle on those two games. And not just those two, there are other titles like Sekiro and Street Fighter that require a great mind to muscle connection, good vision, and other traits to be able to finish. All of these things are overlooked when video games are mentioned. Just all of the skills required to be even able to play most games. It takes a mature mindset to be really able to succeed in some of these puzzles games throw at you. Figuring out patterns in boss fights, finding objects that are almost invisible, and so on. Kids aren't really mature enough to solve some of the more difficult things. All of these abilities are possessed by adults. A great example is Radon from Elden Ring. It takes a lot of patience to be really able to beat that particular boss. Which is another reason Elden Ring has a mature rating of 17 plus. And that's yet another reason why games aren't just for kids. The amount of games in the market with a mature rating or above are astronomical. Whether they're sexual content, cussing, gore, blood, or a really hard difficulty, most AAA games end up being mature and above, which is yet another reason that shuts down the argument for good. Now, when it comes to sexual content, it has been around for a really long time. I actually remember playing God of War 2 and there was a scene where you had to have sex with two women in exchange for the red orb thing, I kind of forgot what it was but, or what it was called, but I was very young and my parents didn't seem to mind. And of course, that is a whole new argument if you believe kids should be exposed to that, but personally I think we should give them a little more time, maybe 14 or 15 before they start playing games that contain a certain amount of sexual content. But that's another discussion. The technology in video games is something else that has gotten extremely advanced. When you look at games like Red Dead Redemption, where you can feed an NPC to an alligator, you quickly realize this is reaching a new level, and to truly appreciate every detail of most games post-2010, it really requires a thoughtful and grown person. From the environments, to the ambience and story of games, we are at a point where games literally feel like a movie. They have all the elements that make a great movie, but you have the ability to be the protagonist and make the choices, which to me makes it even better. More notably, we have two really underrated games. The first one's Until Dawn, and the second one is Little Hope. I totally recommend you play those too, if you really are a story-driven gamer. So this is why games aren't just for kids, and I'm not saying kids can't enjoy these titles, but 90% of people that play this are adults or really close to being adults at around that 16 to 17 year age. Because of those three things, games are complex, contain explicit content, and require a mature mind to be really able to complete. And that's all. The game that kind of made me want to make this was Sons of the Forest out of all the games. And that's because as I was playing, I came to the realization that to actually enjoy this to its full capability, you need a lot of patience. 
and you need to strategize to survive. And it gets even more complex when we are talking about a deeper game like Project Zomboid, where you can't make any mistakes. It's very complex, it has so many different elements that go into it, and I just don't think kids are playing those type of games. But nonetheless, if you enjoy playing video games, I think it's a very valuable hobby and peaceful choice. Some people like partying and some would rather relax and spend some time gaming. But remember, the average age for gamers is 35 and now it is shifting to women as well. So altogether, gaming is the number one most popular hobby of all time.